Uh, this Al this uh, Al Jazeera documentary it really reveals the mask of um, who's who's behind the Bahraini monarchy and how they actually operate. Um, it's it's been known for years, of course, by the um, brave opposition to this regime. Um, what the regime really consists of. And now Al Jazeera are exposing this to the whole world. This is one of the main reasons why Al Jazeera is so heavily persecuted in Bahrain, United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, because time and time again, they've revealed the criminality of the monarchs of these countries. Um, in the, the revelations that Bahrain were in communication with Al-Qaeda Al uh, operators to assassinate opposition members um, should force a reaction from the Western democracies who um, purportedly support the Al Khalifa monarchy. Um, this should force a uh, reassessment of our relationship with Bahrain, uh, but so far we've heard very little from the UK, that there's been no reaction from the UK government who maintain a permanent military base in Bahrain. And how can we justify being in a military alliance with a ruler who's, who's in communication with Al-Qaeda. Um, Al, Al Jazeera Arabic uh, should translate this documentary in English and spread it as far as possible around the world because the, the whole world needs to know the true nature of the Bahraini regime. Um, but we can see that the response to the, the Bahraini regime's response has been a typical response of uh, decrying this as a fake news and false information. Um, but uh, the facts build up and build up and the, the case is compelling that uh, the, the, the rulers of Bahrain are, are cr criminals and, and so they need to be denounced by the whole international community. Um, in, in the UK we can begin by um, cutting off uh, military ties and cutting off intelligence sharing. We, we cannot justify any of these uh, relationships so long as um, we have very strong reason to believe that they're working with uh, Al-Qaeda and organisations which we classify as terrorists in the UK and who um, the whole world is, is attempting to fight off. Um, so we, we cannot keep on giving a back door to the UAE, Saudi Arabia, where, wherever it is. If it's in Yemen, we've seen, we've seen allegations that the UAE are supporting Al-Qaeda tribal leaders and all of this is information which is, is coming from Al Jazeera and so Al Jazeera's offices have been threatened with um, you know terrorist attacks from Saudi journalists and Saudi state media in, in June there was a Saudi columnist who was writing that um, Al Jazeera should be Al Jazeera's offices should be the target of bombing and um, Mohammed bin Zayed called for the bombing of Al Jazeera's offices in 2003 so we know that for a long time these rulers have been resistant to the, um, the freedom of uh, information which is coming from Al Jazeera and all the free media of the world. So, so we have to um, keep on supporting those who are creating these, um, these documentaries and, and we have to really condemn the Bahraini regime for what we have seen today.